missed you guys so much. I'm so excited that you guys are here today to watch a video. We're going to watch a video on the birth of Jesus. So the verse that we're going to talk about today is Luke 2, 11. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. So this video is going to talk about the birth of Jesus and all that came with that. So pay attention because you guys have a chance of earning Bible bucks. I'm going to ask questions when we come back after the video. And if you get them right and you email those answers to us on the link that's on the same how you got this video, there's a link. You can go in there and answer the question and you will receive Bible books. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to pray with you guys. Um, Father God, I pray that the video is received as you meant for it to be. I pray that you'll bless the children with your word. I pray that it encourages them and strengthens them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. When Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant, he was troubled. I will break off our engagement quietly so it won't bring shame on us. Joseph later went to sleep. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. It is through the Holy Spirit that Mary will have this child. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel said and took Mary as his wife. In those days, the Romans ruled Judea. Rome's ruler, Caesar Augustus, ordered that a census of the world be taken. Everyone had to go to their town of origin and be counted. What's your name and how many children do you have? My name is Josiah and I have three children. Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem, the city of Joseph's ancestor, David. They stopped at an inn to rest. My wife is about to give birth. Are you sure there are no rooms? I am sorry, friend, but there is a stable in the back. You can stay there. While Mary was in the stable, she gave birth to a son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. That night, there were shepherds in the fields, tending to their flock. Before them, an angel appeared and said, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. A Savior is born to you this day in the city of David, who is Christ the Lord. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. When the angel finished speaking, the dark night was filled with many angels praising God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all people. I think we should go to Bethlehem. Yes, to see what has happened. The shepherds left the field and came to see the newborn baby. Before the shepherds lay a child in a manger. Just as the angel had said, the baby was wrapped in swaddling clothes. And everyone knew this was the Son of God. The shepherds returned to the fields and told everyone what they had heard and seen. They then prayed to the Lord. Welcome back. So what did you guys think? For me, that is one of my favorite stories. I love the story of Jesus' birth because that is the beginning of our freedom. He came to set us free. So that is one of my favorite stories. I'm so excited that you guys got to watch that video and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. So this comes to the point about the question. So I have five questions for you guys. The first question is, who came to Joseph in a dream? Can you remember that? Who showed up to Joseph in a dream? So remember, if you guys go in where there's, there's a link attached to the e-blast, if you click on that, it'll take you to the email and you guys can submit your answers and receive Bible books. Where did Mary and Joseph travel to for the census? Remember? Number three, what kind of place was baby Jesus born in? And number four, who came to visit baby Jesus? Did a donkey come to visit baby Jesus? What do you think? 
What did the video say? Who came first to see baby Jesus? Number five, what did the shepherds do when they returned to the field? In our story, it said they came back to the field and they what? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know all of you know these answers. So I, I hope that you're going into the link and that you're submitting your answers because we have so many amazing prizes for you guys to earn in with your Bible books. So have a blessed week. Love you guys.